So in this video, we're going to learn how to log users out of their accounts. So logging users out of their accounts isn't actually that hard. And because of the way we've implemented the login system, we can actually allow users to log out of their account on one computer while the remaining logged in on other computers. Because we allow the user to have multiple login tokens at any one time. And that means that they can be logged in on multiple computers or multiple devices at any one time. And whenever we're logging the user out, we can give them the option to remain logged in on all their other devices and just log out of the one they're using. Or we can give them an option to log out of all of their devices. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So the first thing we need to do is create a new file. And that's going to be logout.php. And then of course we need to connect to our database. And then we're going to create a simple page that the, the user can use to log out. So what we want to do is preview this in the browser. So now it just says, would you like to log out of your account? Are you sure you want to log out? Would you like to log out of all devices? And then we can click confirm. So here what we want to do is check if the confirm button has been clicked. So now that we know if the confirm button has been clicked, we want to see if the checkbox called all devices was checked. So to get the checkbox, we need to give it a value. We will give it a value called all devices. So we can get the value of the checkbox to tell whether or not it was clicked. Then we know the checkbox was clicked. Otherwise, we know to only log them out of this specific device. So now we need to get our is logged in function and we have that on our index page and rather than rewrite it, we're going to copy and paste that into its own file. We're going to create a class called login. And then we'll just paste our function in there. We need to include our class in our index page and we also need to, we need to give our function public static before we can use it. And then to reference the function from the class, we need to say login and use the to colon operator to reference it when it's in a class. So that should be it. And in our logout page, we need to do the same thing. We'll just include that. So the first thing we want to do is check if the user's logged in. So we can do that by saying if login is logged in is equal to true then the user is logged in so we can negate that and we can say die to kill the page not logged in so now the user won't be able to see the form if they're not logged in so if i refresh you can see we can still see the form because i have my two cookies set i'll just remove them all and now you can see it says not logged in so now that we know the user's logged in and we can get their user ID using this is logged in method, all we need to do is if they only want to log out of their specific device, we can say db query and token is equal to the token from the cookie. And before we can do that, we need to just put in another check that says if is set because the user could go to the log out page and they could delete their cookies before they actually click the button. And if they did that, they would have got an error. So we need to put in this check first. And we check if the cookie has been set. And if the cookie is set, we delete it from login tokens. And then what we do is we want to delete their cookie. What we want to do is say set cookie SNID and we want to give it a value of anything. And then we want to set the time that the cookie expires to the current time minus, say for example, 3600, because we're setting the cookie to a time that's already passed, so it'll automatically expire, and that's how we can expire a cookie in PHP. And we want to expire our SNID underscore cookie as well, and that should be the user logged out. And then what we want to do is log them out of all devices. So what we want to do is just copy and paste our DB query, and we change it from where token equals token to where user underscore ID equals user ID and we change user ID to the user's ID and we get that from login is logged in. So let's try that now. So the first thing I'm going to try and do is just log the user out of their current session. So here we are and what I'm going to do is just click confirm and you can see it says not logged in. The reason we got that error was just because this post variable was only set when the checkbox is checked and it wasn't checked. So we got that error. So what we can do is change this comparison to an is set and that should prevent any possible errors. So let's just try and log out. And if we go to our database table, you can see there's our newest token that we've just added. If we click confirm, that token's been removed from the database and it says we're not logged in. 
Now what we're going to try and do is log out of all devices. So if I click log out of all devices, I go back to our table and you can see if I refresh the table, there's our newest token for the user with the ID of one. And we have all these other user IDs which should get deleted. And what I'll do is click confirm to log out of all devices, go to SQL Pro refresh, and you can see all of the rows in the table with the user ID of one were removed. You can see if we click here, it says two cookies in use. But if I go to inspect, I go to the console and I print out document.cookie, there are no cookies currently set. So the cookies have been deleted. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And I'll see you next time.